Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, do you notice anything different? <laughs> uh, so I got new glasses, guys, after like four or five years of having the same pair. So um, I'm definitely loving the new frames. Um, but today we have something super exciting. Highlighter. <laughs> so when I was cat sitting for my friend V, um, I stopped at the local um, drugstore um, for something else and I always go through the makeup aisle, who doesn't? And I saw that they had in stock, in store, one of the Maybelline um, Chrome Holographic, Chrome, yeah, Master Chrome Holographic Highlighter that I didn't order. And so I picked it up. So I thought it would be kind of cool to show you all four, show you what they look like. I'm going to swatch maybe one on one side, one on the other. So one of the master chromes, one of the master holographics, and then I'll swatch the other two on my hand. Um, so the tried and true for everyone is this one here, the master chrome 100 molten gold. And it's, um, and it's a beautiful highlighter. It's just really too deep for my skin tone. So that's that there. Um, and as you can see, it's it's a super buttery, buttery formula, and it just it applies beautifully. I've been meaning to do a tutorial with this as like an eyeshadow to see how it wears. So maybe I'll be able to do that um, coming up soon. So the second one. Um, so they just released the first Master Chrome and then just recently they released the three others. Um, so this is Master Chrome Rose Gold and this is the one I'm actually going to try um, right on my skin, on my cheeks because I don't have any glow on right now. So it looks like this. So I'm just going to do a light swatch comparison. So this is the molten gold. This is the rose, rose gold, molten rose gold. Okay. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take, um, my little stippling brush from Wet n Wild that I, um, sometimes use for highlighter. And I'm just going to kind of turn to the side here so you can see um, I'm not sure if this brush is going to work with this formula. I don't have a mirror. And normally I wouldn't be doing this with glasses on, but I kind of want to see how it looks. Ooh, <laughs> that's gorgeous. I think that works really good, especially with my undertone, which is a tad on the pinkier side. <gasps> Ooh, I got a new favorite highlighter, guys. Okay, so that's the Master Chrome, the Molten Rose Gold. And then the two holographic ones is, we have 100 and 50. And so this is the one I had ordered from Ulta that was online only, and this is the one that they're carrying in stores. So I'll just do, this is very like, um, I don't know if it's picking it up, but it's definitely a purple undertone. Um, and let's give it a swatch for you. So these are definitely not as buttery. I don't know if you can tell just on my finger. It's probably because of the iridescent flakes. It definitely has, um, it's not as like opaque in its pigment, which is totally fine. This is gonna be beautiful if you do like um, kind of a out of this world or like galaxy. Yeah, you can even layer it like with two layers. It definitely looks a little bit more opaque. Um, so there's that one. And then the fourth one is the um, 0500. 
So that's this one here. It has the same, right there. It has the same consistency as the, um, as the other holographic one. It's definitely like, I don't want to say powdery, but it's kind of more powdery, even though it's buttery than the Master Chrome. So I figured we could use this one on my other cheek. Um, I just have another um, a fan brush because sometimes people apply highlighter with fan brushes. It definitely is powdery, um, but that is okay. From what I can see, it's definitely um, showing up, but it like has that pearlescent kind of undertone. I feel like um, it definitely has that holographic feel, but it's not holographic. Um, I don't know if any of you guys watch nail art videos, but Christine from Simply Neological, she loves holographic nail polish and everything else really. Um, and I didn't actually know this, but for it to be holographic, it has to shift all the colors of the rainbow. So these definitely are more, I would say pearlescent. <laughs> I don't know if that's a word. I'm just gonna take a quick picture so I can see myself how it looks. So it's definitely blinding. Um, I don't know, I'm just concerned about how powdery these are on my hand. I think they're gonna maybe come off a little bit easier. Oh, well, I don't know. But yeah, so those are kind of cool and exciting and new. So um, if you are looking to get your hands on a new highlighter, I would definitely recommend the rose gold one. Um, if you're on the paler skin side like me, then the Master Chrome Original um, in molten gold is definitely going to be too deep for you, but there's no reason why you couldn't use it in like a more special effects look or like eyeshadow. Like I'm thinking about that look I did on my channel, like more towards the beginning of the Guardians of the Galaxy. That would have been perfect to kind of just like give the overall skin just kind of like a golden hue. Um, but yeah, I am a little disappointed in these and how um, powdery they are, but um, it could just be they um, when they were trying to make them, um, you know, make them shift those colors, that's harder to do in a highlighter. I'm not really sure. I've never made a highlighter before. But yeah, um, it's definitely something fun, like if you're doing, um, I don't know, a special makeup for a party or something, I think it would be worth investing in for me probably this one because purple well I mean if you're gonna go all out there and do a galaxy look you might as well do purple I wonder how this compares to the Aurora is it Aurora glow kit from Anastasia hmm. I think maybe I could do a comparison that'd be kind of fun huh all right guys um, Thank you so much for watching, and um, I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys.